Ooh, it's a good day. After the dyno on October 25th, about a week later, I drove all the way to Louisiana to go pick up a carbon fiber hood and racing hood. What's up, you guys? My name is Adam. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that don't know me, this is my bagged automatic 370Z. Yes, I said that right, it's automatic. In today's video, guys, I feel like really kind of going through a nostalgia trip and kind of showing you guys where this car actually came from. I got this car about two and a half years ago, and pretty much completely stock. Only thing I had on it was the exhaust, which is completely taken off. I now have a titanium single exit exhaust, and the only other thing that came with the car was the carbon fiber wing which is the only thing actually still on my car from when I bought it. So, with that being said guys, I'm gonna kinda just run you guys down from when I got the car till this point I am at now. Um, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna go down in on prices and everything, I'm just gonna go down on, you know, what happened at what time and kinda just give y'all a representation of how long things take. Alrighty guys, so I actually got the car January 24th. So that's the day I took delivery of the car. Like I said, completely stock, except my Fast Intentions exhaust, which is gone, and the carbon wing. This is a base touring model. So it does have leather seats, heated seats. Um, it doesn't have the sports brake, so it's not sports. Um, and it is automatic. So 28,000 miles I got the car. Actually, it's like 29,000, but um, yeah, that's when I got the car. My first ever mod to the Z actually was Loring Springs. So I bought Arc Performance GTS lowering springs that look absolutely great. By the way, guys, I'm gonna have pictures here throughout the whole video. I bought Arc Performance lowering springs, which I still have on my stock struts um, in case, you know, I wanna sell my airbags at a future date. But that was my first modification to my car. Um, I lowered it and it was great. I loved the way it looked. Um, so first mod, Arc lowering springs, yeah. Second mod I did actually was, I got my headlights taken care of. So I absolutely hate how the stock headlights look and it's getting really hot again. I hate how the stock headlights look with that chrome look. So I immediately found somebody in Georgia willing to sell his headlights in exchange for stock ones, put some cash on top. So yeah, second modification was actually getting my headlights done. My halos were not hooked up for a while after that. So I got my headlights, but my halos were still not, not hooked up or anything. They weren't working yet. The third thing I did on my car that isn't really considered a mod that I got a lot of hate for actually was little eyelids. Um, so I'm gonna put a picture up right here about the eyelids. They looked awful, they didn't match the paint color, but I remember I saw um, I saw Guap do this. Guap the barber, I don't know if you guys follow my Instagram, but I saw him do this and it really inspired me to do it because I really loved how it looked. So I did it with this blue wrap that I found on Amazon and it looked awful. The wrap, I didn't wrap it good. It's hard to wrap these headlights, but nevertheless, I still did it. and. That's definitely part of you know the transformation that I have came from. But anyways, actually I lied, guys. I did the I did the eyelids before I did the headlights. But yeah, it's just small switch. Then after I got the headlights on, I hooked them up. It took me about a couple months to hook up. So yeah, that was that took me a little. Next, what I did was I purchased a eBay lift. I got a lot of questions asking me on where I got it. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a picture of where I got it from. The picture it looks like, so you guys can buy it. Um, unfortunately, that was only held up with zip ties. I ended up paying that through Dipshins, and I also, in the same time, I also bought that toe strap that's actually still on the car. Actually, before I even got that toe strap, I had a neon chrome toe hook. It actually looked terrible. I got the strap and said it looked a lot better. The next thing that I did to the car that was one of the biggest things that I've actually done to the car was get my Rohana RC10s. Um, this completely changed the look of my car and actually who started my jump into the car scene kind of deal. Um, they were absolutely beautiful wheels. I love the way they looked. It actually got my spot into Gentleman's, which gave me a lot of my start on where I was. Um, Gentleman's Z. It's a Z group, you know, great, I love them. I'll never forget them. Next thing that I've actually done that my personal favorite was actually the tire stickers. So after I got my RC10 Rohannas, I put on hand-cooked tire letters and 
boy those look nice i actually really missed that setup yeah pretty much like june about seven months after i got the car i had all that done to it next for a couple months we kind of went on a dry period i got a couple banners on the car i took it to some shows some events um not much has changed with it um kind of just left it as it is i got a couple professional photo shoots done of the car that was a lot of fun um yeah the photos came out great i'm gonna put some up here for y'all and damn i am sweating this is around the time when i started actually making my youtube videos um so all you guys that are here from back then when i did all that um welcome back guys i love y'all to death y'all been true day one supporters but um oh by the way guys i got my roof dipped and i got my my front um front part with my lip also all redone back then too There's a lot of stuff i kind of i'm forgetting about um, but i'm trying to keep up with everything yeah so i got my my roof done black and my lip redone gloss because it was like plastic different previous owners so i redid that it looks a million times better i'm, I'm kind of have to redo it again i think soon rock chips kind of messed it up i kind of want a new whole front you know never nevertheless but. so september 30th i actually installed test pipes on the car this was my actual only contribution to how much power it makes since then um test pipes and then i believe there was a dry spell like a, a couple weeks i didn't do anything and then on october 19th about a month later i got my car dyno tuned by martin he's a great tuner car made 329 wheel horsepower on the dyno i forgot about how much torque but um i have the the, the dyno soon after the dyno on october 25th so about a week later i drove all the way to louisiana to go pick up a carbon fiber hood and racing bucket seat that was an event all of its own i wish i was recording all that but it's okay guys i'm back now yeah carbon fiber hood which is not in the car anymore i decided to actually switch up the look so no more carbon fiber and the seats are actually sold so yeah that, those two those two are actually not. and alrighty guys so the big one that everyone really wants to know is when was i bagged so we, we went to car pass by oh yeah sun is covered when was i bagged so on december 13th 2017 Me and two other buddies of mine that I actually purchased the bags from put this thing on bags. It is a full airlift performance 3P kit. Um, I love it. It's got BC shocks. The ride is amazing. So no complaints there. That was probably one of the biggest upgrades. Um, oddly enough, that was actually my favorite, but the tire segments were very close. Anyways, moving on. February 15th, I sold my Rohanas to my buddy Daniel and I actually bought my my hot boy wheels my weds um boy let me tell y'all that was a mistake i hated those wheels those tires were so stretched i beat it on the highway going 80 miles an hour and it was just a nightmare guys like my car felt like a boat it was not fun it looked awful driving because when it aired up the wheels took out this far you know when i aired out it was cool but you know while i'm driving it was awful so anyways guys yeah it was cool a lot of people liked it. a lot of people missed it but i'm not going back to the hot boy setup that's not really for me. I got the hot boy wheels on February 17th, 2018, and I defeated the tire on March 24th, 2018. Um, that's when I had enough. I posted the weds on sale. There were weds, Vishnu's. I posted them for sale. They were done. I was done with those, and I got, this is when I bought my Volk TE37. I bought my Volks on April 2nd, 2018. Um, I love the Volks. They were great. They were lightweight. They put the power down. I had 305s in the rear, so they they were putting the power down. Um, they were. I loved them so much. I, a couple photos of them. I tried putting on tire stickers on them, but it didn't really work out too well because the the, the Prelli P zeros were raised, like the lettering, so I wouldn't stick right. Um, so that was a that was a mistake. And then on April 23rd, I finally got my single exit Tomy exhaust. Got rid of the fast intentions and finally beefed up my game to, to titanium. That was a great video. Uh, I'll link that video up here, guys. That was a fun video. I like that video a lot. Um, I love that exhaust. It's so loud. I don't even have headers yet, and it's crazy, stupid loud. Anyways, moving on. I didn't really do much um, from here on out because I had, um, I was just going. I was. I just had other plans. This is when I also stopped posting on YouTube. I had plans of getting rid of the Z. I wanted to get an Evo for a long time, but then I realized it wasn't really realistic to do that. Um, I'm so far deep in this car, there's no reason why I would pull equity out of it. I just wouldn't get what I needed out of it. So that idea was quickly scrapped and kept modding the Z and posting more YouTube videos. All right guys, so on January 8th, 
2019, I made all my wheels white. So I used this dip called Super Wraps. Um, it looked really good. I loved it. Only disclaimer, please guys don't use it on the barrel. I had such a hassle taking it off the barrel. It was, it looked great. It, it came off really well on the face. I did the barrel though, just so it didn't look stupid. And it, it, don't do that. Don't, I re, don't do the barrel. If you guys get super wraps, skip the barrel. February 9th, I actually sold my wheels about a month later from doing them white. I sold them. And yeah, that's really about it. Now I'm on these rollers. My buddy let me borrow because my homie needed his other rollers back. And yeah, so now we're at today. Oh, and by the way, guys, I actually did black out my taillights recently. I used Nightshade. My buddy Alton did it for me. Um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. That's my transformation from day one back in January 2017 till today, which is April 8th, 2019. The car looks absolutely amazing. I have a lot of work to do on her. I have a lot of work to do on with her still. Like I said, new wheels are coming in within about a week. That's a video dropping, so please be ready for that. That's gonna be crazy. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, I love y'all to death. Um, thank y'all so much for watching. If anyone cares, uh, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to the channel, because I will be posting more crazy videos. And yeah, that's been my one-year transformation with my bagged Auto 370Z, for those of you that actually care. I love y'all to death. Thank you so much for watching, guys. My name is Adam, and yeah, peace out. I jump out of the Maybach, Gucci flops in the wave cow. I got all my chains on, but they like where your shirt is. so good in the sunlight. I think she was clean, too.